everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's topic for me is going to be being misgendered. Whether you're in the workplace, public place, it is going to happen with, within the trans, for us in the trans community. And I know this might be a sensitive topic, but please understand that this is from my point of view. Um, two clips I will be showing you are trans individuals that have, in my opinion, overreacted. And I can understand why they overreacted, but at the same time, it will, I think it paints a very negative impact, you know, and for a lot of us who are transitioning, you know, and applying for jobs, companies that see this, especially when they go viral, can, how can I say it? It could be like a negative thing for them not to want to hire or maybe it's like a dislike, I guess you could say. You know, say I'm an employer, you know, and I've seen these two videos and a trans individual, you know, I'm interviewing for, I'm, I wouldn't deny them because of their gender. It's, I can see it from a business point of view where say it's the individual from the video if they're going to act like that in public how would they react in a business environment would they do the same thing i hope you guys under understand in a sense where i'm coming from in that being misgendered is going to happen it's happened to me a couple times true i'm not far enough in my transition to honestly I guess you could say care and I'm not you know presenting myself full-time yet but at the same time even if I was it's going to happen I'm expecting it to happen especially when I, I make that final push to be full-time female I mean changing my name on the ID everything to me, that is when I will make that choice. And will I get mis get misgendered a lot? I guarantee it. It will probably happen more than once in the same day. And there's an easy way to go about it. Very easy. You know, if someone called me sir instead of ma'am, just politely, you know say please identify me as ma'am that's what I would like to be identified as and that's it now you will have people I hate to use the word asshole or dick or any you know the derogatory terms terms but they'll do it just to spite it's going to happen now, we as trans individuals have the opportunity to be very calm about it and professional, or we connect, you know, screaming at them, calling them cuss words. It's going to happen. Um, to me, it's no big deal. I'm just a very relaxed individual and I know it's going to happen I'm expecting it to happen even within my own family and where I live so please take into account that if you guys are watching this video even if you're not trans and watching this video if you see a trans individual and you happen to misgender them and they correct you just simply say I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend 
how would you like to be called? And just acknowledge them that way. Nine times out of ten, potentially, that's... You're showing sincerity, empathy. So, I hope this is enlightening. Let's get into the videos, shall we? Because they're pretty interesting. So, the first one is... You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this one. Um, I have. But it's a GameStop. Excuse me, it's ma'am. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am, once again, ma'am. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. Right beforehand, you fucking... Now, the person got, yes, very heated. Not as much as the second person, but yes, they did get heated. Now, if that was me, personally, I would have just said, you know, I'm sorry, please address me as ma'am. That's all. You know, and if they're truly sincere, they'll acknowledge that and say, I'm sorry. That's it. You know, people will m make mistakes. We are human. Now let's get into the next video, shall we? Back today, because any goddamn girl who comes up in here but after me with titties and ass on her motherfucking back will be respected and she will not be called a goddamn sir. Fuck you and your mama, your sister, your brother, your uncle, and your cousin, your bitch ass. Now the entire video is actually, you know, about 10 to 15 minutes long. But I just wanted to show, in a sense, the outburst because the person w was totally fine basically until they got misgendered. And that's when basically it was like all gloves off. Again, especially if we're starting out early in our tr transition, us being misgendered will happen. It might happen your entire time. It will happen. Now how we present ourselves can also help potential employers see that not all of us are that way. And, you know, how we fight for equality, you know, within rights in the workplace and even in society, it could show that same thing. If we're just more calmer and professional about it. If we act like these two individuals. It will paint, in my opinion, a very negative aspect. Um, if you guys have any questions, please put them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you like what you see, like the video. Either way, leave a comment. Tell me how you did. Or how I did. Sorry. Um... But I hope to see you guys on the next one. And I will be posting more. I do apologize. I do not post more videos. My schedule is pretty hectic. I do work very long hours. So I do most of the time come home very tired. But I will push to keep making content for you all. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.